hello everyone so last time we started with infiltration and we understood what is infiltration then what is infiltration capacity and how to measure this infiltration capacity so we saw this basic plot between infiltration rate and time that is as the rainfall starts initially infiltration is more but as the rainfall continues this infiltration rate comes down and then it has attains a constant value so from here we understood that infiltration rate is not constant at every time so it changes with time but for the design and analysis purposes like when we do for hydrograph we assume an average value an average constant value of infiltration infiltration rate and this average value we term as infiltration infiltration index so there are two indices as such for defining this average infiltration rate that is phi index and there is w index so let's see both so phi index phi index is defined as it is defined as that it is the average rainfall over and above over and above which rainfall is equal to runoff so we know that as the rainfall starts there are some initial losses so there can be depression storage there can be obviously infiltration it will obviously be there and there can be interflow so these are some some of the initial losses that is some of the water which is coming as precipitation it is being lost as i mean as in these losses so we can say let's say this plot shows the rainfall intensity and time so that is a hydrograph so this is the various rainfall intensities at various times so let's say out of this i am drawing this line here so below this line all this rainfall is lost due to some some of these losses maybe depression storage maybe infiltration but it is being lost so the rainfall which is there above this line above this black line this black line so this gives you what this gives you direct runoff whereas the rainfall which is there below it it gives you phi index so in sorry the units of this phi index is also centimeters per hour same as the units of rainfall intensity so here one thing to notice is that the phi index phi index includes it includes the initial losses that is such as depression storage interflow all these losses are included in phi index we are not separately determining these these losses because these are difficult to determine also so let's say p is your total precipitation and r is the runoff out of this total precipitation and t is the t is the effective effective duration when when rainfall you can say rainfall intensity rather than rainfall when rainfall intensity is greater than phi index so this p minus r upon t gives you phi index this is the basic formula we'll solve questions to understand this so that that means that if the i is the intensity of rainfall and this intensity of rainfall is less than equal to phi index then there will be there will be no runoff because whatever the intensity or whatever the rainfall is coming it will be lost in this infiltration that's what we assume whereas if intensity of rainfall is greater than phi index then this formula will be valid 
so that is about the that is about the phi index we'll understand it more by the questions also but before that let's see w index so there is one basic difference between phi index and w index so w index is given as p minus r minus i divided by te so p and r are same as the previous one that is p will be your precipitation and then r is the runoff here and i is the i denotes or i accounts for all the initial losses initial losses so we are not counting infiltration as initial loss because in this index only we are trying to find out infiltration so infiltration is not counted but other than infiltration whatever initial loss is there like depression storage and all all those are counted in this i so w index will obviously give better idea about w index gives better idea about infiltration rate infiltration rate because here we are excluding or we are already deducting these initial losses but obviously these initial losses are not so easy to find so that's why phi index we generally use so we'll solve a question to understand these two now so let's see one question here okay so let's see this question here it says the rainfall in the three successive eight hour periods is 1.6 5.4 and 4.1 centimeters if the initial loss is 0.6 centimeter and surface runoff resulting from the storm is 4.7 centimeter the phi index is so we have to fi find phi index but we can also find here the w index as well so for that first of all these rainfalls are given that is in 8 hour interval that is first 8 hour rainfall is 1.8 1.6 centimeter so if you convert it into the rainfall intensity so that is equal to 1.6 by 8 that is 0.2 centimeter per hour similarly in the next 8 hour it is 5.4 centimeter so if you convert it into the intensity of rainfall then it is 0.675 centimeter per hour and for the last 3 hours it is 4.1 centimeter so the rainfall intensity is equal to 0.5125 centimeter per hour so that is about the precipitation so this is the total precipitation we can say i mean total precipitation is this but if you convert it into the intensity form then this is your precipitation now initial loss is given let's say capital i is the initial loss that is 0.6 centimeter and surface runoff is given let's say capital r is the surface runoff that is 4.7 centimeters now we have to find out this phi index so phi index just now we saw the formula that is p minus r divided by te so p is the precipitation r is the runoff and t is the effective time so here we are not using i that is initial loss because initial loss is accounted if you are finding w index i mean in the phi index we say the losses are also included in the phi index whereas in the w index we are excluding those losses so w index would be p minus r minus i divided by te so first let's find out this phi index so precipitation is this that is 1.6 5.4 and 4.1 so 1.6 plus 5.4 plus 4.1 this is the precipitation minus runoff is how much 4.7 centimeters 4.7 divided by te so i was telling about this te so t is the effective time so what does it mean by the effective time effective time is the time duration when rainfall intensity let's say i is the rainfall intensity this rainfall intensity is greater than infiltration rate so when we do for the first time when we do this first iteration to find out the phi index we say let's say the effective time is including all the time durations 
so let's say all these 8 plus 8 plus 8 this is your effective time that is 24 hours so if you solve from here the phi index comes out as 0.267 centimeter per hour now we have to again cross check this thing this statement that we assumed initially this thing we assumed initially now we have a value of phi index so we have to confirm this that is effective time will only include the time duration when intensity of rainfall intensity of rainfall is greater than phi index so intensity of rainfall we have cal calculated here so initially it is I mean I1 is 0.2 cm per hour I2 is 0.675 and I3 is 0.5125 so phi index what we calculated it is equal to 0.267 centimeters per hour so here you can see that this i1 it is i1 is less than phi so that is when we are talking about this effective time so the time duration for this i1 or the first pre precipitation it should not be included in the calculation of phi index so let's calculate the phi index again that is precipitation now would be we'll exclude this one so that is precipitation is 5.4 plus 4.1 so we are saying that this 1.6 centimeter is totally totally gone in losses because infiltration rate is more than this precipitation rate so 5.4 plus 4.1 minus 4.7 so this is the precipitation now this is the runoff divided by the effective time so effective time will include only two time durations because third one is gone so that is 16 is remaining so if you calculate from here so phi index comes out as 0.3 centimeters per hour now you have to again cross check that is this 0.3 centimeter per hour should be i mean this condition again should be satisfied that is rainfall intensity should be greater than phi index so phi index is 0.3 centimeter per hour and the rainfall intensity is 0.675 and 0.5125 so rainfall intensities are greater than phi index so this is your final value of phi index so that's how you have to always be careful about calculating this phi index because this is the most common mistake that will happen that you will simply find out one phi index like we calculated this one and you'll mark the answer because this will always be there in the answer so for the for the w index it is equal to p plus r minus i divided by te so again you have to do all this that is 1.6 plus 5.4 plus 4.7 minus sorry this is 4.1 runoff is 4.7 minus initial loss is 0.6 divided by te so initially we are saying that all the time is effective time so if we calculate from here this w index comes out as 0.242 centimeter per hour then you have to check again with the intensities so here also here also this i1 i1 is 0.2 whereas w index is com coming out as w index is coming out as how much it is coming out as 0.242 so w index is greater than this i1 w index greater than i1 so we'll exclude that so the remaining would be your w index we'll again find out that is 5.4 plus 4.1 minus 4.7 minus 0.6 divided by 16 so from here if you calculate it comes out as 0.263 centimeter per hour so this is the actual value of the w index so this is one of the examples that i just i mean that i just showed so we'll solve some more examples from the previous year questions thank you